Are you ready to build Mia a house? In the last video, we made Mia from Lego Friends as a Sim from Sims 4. And the real Lego Friends Mia is very excited to see a house and her Sim version. But it's time to start the house now. So I've chosen a house that I think would suit Mia really, really well. It's just a nice, simple one bedroom house. It is set out here in the woods, lots and lots of nature around, not close by to anybody else. I've actually pre-prepared here a little swimming pool that looks like a pond because <laughs> I just thought that would be really really cute and she's even got a forest or a little bit of greenery growing on the roof there is green everywhere there are going to be plants everywhere and it's a loft bedroom up here so she's just got a nice when I say simple it's actually quite a big house but we're gonna be able to fit lots and lots of things in here which are really going to suit her personality I think it looks absolutely cute and perfect and I'm ready to start so let's start up here in the bedroom because that's really really important and once again like I've said before Mia Mia doesn't really care what other people think she is strong she's independent she loves sports and the outdoors and basically I, I just I think that we're gonna show her independent spirit in this so she has got a whole heap of her, she's got her feather collection up here on the wall she's been collecting feathers from all different birds when she finds them out on her travels she goes on lots and lots of adventures because that's what she loves to do we're gonna fill these shelves up with knickknacks from her childhood well she's still a teen so she's still a child but she's she's kind of almost outgrowing these things but honestly do you ever really have to outgrow the things you love as a child surely not <laughs> it's nice to keep this sort of stuff and just remember how happy you were as a kid <laughs> okay um, and hanging here over the window I definitely think these flip-flop lights are cute and quirky and they're gonna suit her and it's all just gonna be kind of eclectic with a mix of lots of funny things that mean things to, to Mia so they're actually very meaningful and also reasonably cluttered because she doesn't care for things to be particularly tidy and just so she she likes things you know to, to be to be <laughs> interesting to look at now I have found this skateboard decks here this is absolutely perfect this is her skateboard deck collection she has been collecting them for years and she is so proud of them and we'll put a whole heap of plants over here with there are going to be so many pet things in here because she is a pet lover and an animal lover so we're going to go mad with pet stuff absolutely bonkers and up here on the window frame we've got a cat teaser there and a few she's going to have some goldfish bowls and we'll just kind of fill it up with books and look at these random stones that she just bought brought from the from the woods last time she went out and some more books over here nothing really you know nothing really has a special place but it's all perfectly placed for Mia and I'd like a really really long lamp here the mason jar ones will be perfect over the stairwell let's see if I can get them to go where I want them to go there we go now all right the bedroom looks good it is filled with memorabilia and mere stuff so out here in the front the front door we're going to put a bird feeder and I've already got a lot of plants and a pretty little place to sit there it looks fantastic at night and definitely a cat mailbox <laughs> so cute and just inside the front door a uh, place to hang her jackets as she comes in though she's probably likely to just chuck them on the floor <laughs> maybe maybe and and uh, more plants I think not actually going through that cute little puppy succulent plant so we're gonna make where's the one that's it that's what I want so then we can tuck the puppy underneath <laughs> it's adorable and we can put a bookcase over here just a really functional one for to store all her stuff in and a mat now the front door mat we're gonna put a puppy dog footprint on there or a kitty footprint perfect that's very welcoming and another little plant there we go that's that's so welcoming and it's so homey okay up on the kitchen bench oh actually wind chimes she definitely have wind chimes these bamboo wind chimes are just gonna go out here out here in the back deck area I just wanted to do that before I forgot oh and we just fill out the bathroom the bathrooms tiny and you'll notice it only has a sink and a toilet and a laundry hamper and of course a plant because because and it's gonna need a mirror so maybe a really interesting one once again something eclectic just 
there. I think that's perfect. Now, I don't know whether it needs more windows to, actually, no, I don't. I think that looks silly. <laughs> Take them away again. All right, back into the kitchen. I've already organized the basic kitchen, but we're gonna add some knickknacks here, maybe some chilies up there, and definitely a whole jar, jars of treats, <laughs> puppy treats, and some wheatgrass. Oh, actually, wheatgrass is perfect, and this fridge is actually where you get the treats from at the vet's office, but it's now empty. I thought it'd be so cool to have a whole fridge full of treats, but I'm gonna have to figure out whether I can do that. And up here, some of the special things that she's collected, if I can get that trilobite to actually go where I want it to. This this frog is one that she just is finding fascinating at the moment. So it's getting pride of place here up on the kitchen bench so she can just watch it all the time. And a pet carrier under the stairs for when she has to take the pet or one of the pets or any of the pets for that dreaded trip to the vets. Now more pets, more pets. She's going to have a hedgehog, cute little hedgehog out here. She has to, this house is just gonna be chock-a-blocks with pets. And uh, a cat tree, we'll get the fanciest one, we'll put it over here, just cause it's really cute. This may not be where it lives forever, but we'll put it inside for now. And some pet beds, so she's got three pets. So we'll put, how many beds can we fit up here? We can fit, no, that one's too big. We can fit two up here. We'll see, actually I like, I like the original. I like what they look like originally. We'll put the third pet bed. Mm, well, actually, they're really big, aren't they? Might just might just pop it in here for now and then we'll move it around. We have to remember that there needs to be a third pet bed. Kitty litter box, I love the one with the lasers because it's hilarious. And the we're gonna put the food maybe, maybe over here. We can put the bin back now, <laughs> rather than putting it under the stairs. No one will put any rubbish in it if it's under the stairs. And a box, a pet box full of toys. And here are some of the toys that have just kind of, they've, they've tumbled out. Well, they haven't been put away properly. We need to teach the puppies to put things away properly. And a bee box. She would definitely, definitely have a beehive. Now, we've got a dog run. I actually pre-prepared that climbing wall with the tree. I don't know how well that's going to work, but we'll try it out later. <laughs> She's going to have, she loves the outdoors, so we're going to bring the outdoors into her backyard. We've got a tent, going to have a whole camping thing next to her custom-made pond. She's got a balloon bucket there for playing water balloon fights, because she might be a teenager, but she loves having fun. And let me see, what else are we going to put out here? Sprinkler. Let's put the sprinkler out, because one, we need to keep that grass nice and clean and to clean green <laughs> and they love playing in it and speaking of clean she's going to wash her own clothes and hang them out on the washing line she's going to be absolutely eco-friendly on that front even though she's got an electronic tree electronic climbing wall in the backyard <laughs> all right um to continue on with her nature theme gonna add a whole heap of pots here that she can grow things in we've got some catnip seeds but i'll actually put some catnip plants out here plus the really special one that makes the cats extra frisky and she can plant them when we make this go live we just put a few more plants out lots and lots and lots and lots of plants and a little barbecue out here because we're going to need a bit of an outdoor setting let's put our outdoor accessories there on the floor while I choose what sort of table and chairs we're going to have I think that looks nice actually think that's a little bit too nice and ordered but maybe her mum actually bought this for her when she moved out as a teen <laughs> and bought a color coordinated thing because she knew that Mia just wouldn't care if anything was color coordinated so her mum might have organized that actual special outdoor setting for her <laughs> I think it's the nicest thing nice big mat for the outside too let's find something that's not not gonna worry too much about getting wet and we'll put a pet bed out here just outside the door um uh, maybe this mat let's have a look uh, i can't decide i think that looks i think that looks better it's a little bit bland but i think it will have to we'll just put a whole heap more little toys out here there are toys everywhere okay that looks pretty spiffy. I like that. 
Okay, what room are we going to do next? Right, the living room. And <laughs> I've been avoiding this because there's a lot of stuff we're going to fit in here. So we're going to start with the dining table. We're going to have these funky little chairs just in lots of different colours. I wanted to make them each different colour for each Lego Friends, but there's no purple. And the pink is pretty blah. So we're just going to make them multicoloured. And she's going to have a little special thing here on the table, one of the snow cones that she collected in one of her trips. <laughs> snow clones, snow globes, and that one's got the dinosaur in it. And her most favourite, yeah, her skate decks. Look at that. They are the most excellent artwork. And over here is where she stores all her collections. So she has got frogoramas, she has got frogs galore, she has got insects, and every time she comes out, she brings more home and looks after them and loves them and, and just basically loves collecting them and looking after the animals. So I'm trying to fit as many as I can on here, but honestly, it's not agreeing with me too much. So we'll put some of her mineral specimens here as well. What else can we fit here on these? It's not behaving with the fossils. I want to put, oh, I think Mia would have a fossils collection, absolutely. But I have nowhere to really put one yet. I'm gonna have to, maybe some shelves over here on the side. Maybe I can, no. I think we're gonna have to save the fossils collection for later. We might do a revamp of the house later. Okay, so that's looking good. We're gonna put a little, little bench seat here, a bit of decoration above it. I like that. Look, you can see through into the other room. That's cool. It's like a peekaboo little window. Yeah, I love the air plants so much. More plants and we're going to need some sort of decoration on this wall. Maybe, uh, yeah, plants over here. I'd, uh, I like the big long hangings, but I don't know that any of them are quite right for Mia. But like I said before, she's eclectic. It, it's all just kind of mismatch. On the other side, of this wall, so the front entryway next to the stairs, maybe we could put a little chair, like a really comfy, old, comfy sitting chair, but no, she's not gonna be able to get around that. So hmm, we'll put newspaper, newspaper and magazine rack. Hopefully, hopefully she'll use it <laughs> and keep that area nice and clean. We'll put all her magazines, newspapers away. Okay, let me see, let me see. We need to put in a little tiny lounge area. It doesn't need to be big because she lives by herself with her three pets. They can all snuggle in together. I'm trying to figure out how I want this to go in. I love this couch with the little, with the, the pet, <laughs> the pet pillows. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> oh goodness. And we'll just put some, we'll chuck down some pillows. Nice and comfy. Gonna make it really comfy and homey. And this, I love that. I love that because she's starting to be a vet, I think. So she can have that diagram of the dog's innards up there on the wall. <laughs> she can just, she can study while she's sitting down. Um, I think the coffee tables are all gonna be just wrong for this area. I think it's such a small, teeny tiny little area. I like that one with the aquarium in it. That's cool. That's very cool. Maybe, maybe if I move things around, maybe if I make it small. Oh no, hold on. Now the fish are, fish were floating on the top when I made it small. That was wrong. Hmm. I'm dispensing with the coffee table idea. We're going to make another little comfy sitting area just over here. And this is tricky. Where are we going to put this bookcase? I do want this little bookcase. There, over there, tucked in with the other plant. I think. No, no, Ooh, that's too big. Um, let's try the red one. I like the red one. I really actually like that a lot. It's really nice colors, nice and bold. Now, I'm reluctant to put a television in because The Sims just naturally just watch television. And I really don't think that Mia would spend a lot of time sitting around watching television. I'll put one in anyway, and uh, I might take it away if she gets really lazy. <laughs> when I'm doing gameplay in here, I might take the television away and make her you know, go out and do nature stuff because that's what she likes doing. The plant's way too big. The, the pot's just sticking through. <laughs> there we go. That's cute. The rubber tree in the corner. And a couple more plants. I think there's a little mouse hole there. A couple more plants in here just inside the door. And another plant over here in this cozy little seating area and some books and I think a couple more 
yeah, a few more rugs will really, really make it look just really, really friendly and laid back. And I might do a circle one here to blend it all in, to tie these rugs all in together. There, that's really sweet. Oh, well, that's perfect. Okay, okay, now this part here is kind of an indulgence. We've got this beautiful walkway and there's a little green gardening area which you can see through the kitchen windows. And we're going to put a lotus light here so you can see it at night through those windows. I think that will just look lovely. Now, like I said, kind of an indulgence. There's a special room out here with waterfall walls and it's going to be Mia's, look, it's got a glass roof. It's going to be Mia's Zen area because I truly believe that Mia, out of all the Lego Friends girls, will be the one who is most, mo finds that her emotional well being will be most important. So she will take time out for herself to really recharge and refresh and just make sure she's the best Mia that she can possibly be. So she's got the most gorgeous tub out here. And we're going to and put in some really nice candles and we're going to have some a meditation a little meditation chair and her yoga mat is all out here in the peaceful outdoors surrounded by waterfall waterfall walls we'll put some big hanging greenery down here let's see it's actually going to cascade just down into the tub <laughs> it's like she's having a shower or sorry a bath outside and she, she's surrounded, completely surrounded by the forest. So it's as private as can be. It doesn't matter that you can see through all this stuff. It is private. Not only that, I don't think Mia really cares. It, it, she just she don't think that she is too worried about people looking at her. It's just not an important thing in her life. So we'll add some more, uh, some more, um, more plants out here. Not that one. Maybe some bamboo. There. And a couple more little plants. And I think her Zen area is very Zen and complete. Okay, I think, I think that it might be time to move Mia and her pets in. I'm just taking a last little swirl around and have a look. Now, I've actually given some attributes to this already. I think that the creepy crawlies, I might have to change this, but I thought it was hilarious. And I just thought because she's so far out here in the woods that there would be creepy crawlies. So <laughs> I might change that later. Oh, look, she's in there already. I can see me. I just saw her through the window. She's gone straight to the television. I told you she would do that. I can see her raccoon. I can see the raccoon out there and I can see Buzz. Where's she heading to? She's going... She's going upstairs to check out the flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, it is hilarious. And Buzz is just, she's just staring at, Another staring at the frog. And Noodle, Noodle's checking out, checking out mm, the, mm, it's the hedgehog. <laughs> you can never keep these cats away. Oh, here comes a little hedgehog, hello. So cute, so cute. Now where's the little kitten? Where's Pixel? Oh, here, oh, Pixel's out here. Oh, out here near the bee box. Be careful, Pixel. Those bees, well, the bees don't look too feisty at the moment. And Pixel and Noodle, are, are, they're obviously already friends. Oh, and Buzz has already jumped straight into the pool pond thing. And he's just paddling doggy pad. Can he get out, though? I didn't even know that he could get in there in his banana suit. He's hilarious. Oh, yeah, oh actually, yes, he can get out. <laughs> oh, that's a... Oh, he's sh oh, shaking all over everything. <laughs> Okay, Mia is obviously in need of some zen time, some me time, some personal growth time. So she's doing some yoga. That's nice. While she's doing yoga, raccoons wandering around noticing that there's a puddle on the floor, probably from Buzz and Buzz's hmm, pond jumping, and that the food feeder is empty, but Buzz is just staring at the fridge. <laughs> oh dear. Where's Mia off to now? Mia? Oh, here she is. She's coming upstairs. Oh, she's going to bed. It's bedtime. All the lights are still on, though. A bit bright. Uh, we might slow it down again. Oh, no, hold on. Oh, Buzz is also having a nap. And, oh, look, Noodle's also settling down for a nap, for a sleep. Uh, I dread to think what's happening outside. Oh, 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 we forgot to bring the kitten in so the Pixel's busy sleeping out there in the rain. Maybe Noodle's going to head out and get her. Maybe. Maybe Noodle just doesn't care. 
<laughs> well, I'm really happy with how this has all turned out. Oh look, there's Noodle sleeping on the couch. I think, I definitely think that Mia's gonna love living here. I would love to make a house for each of the Lego friends, girls. So make sure you let me know if you would like to see more of these type of videos because I would be thrilled to make them. I would have a whole, whole load of fun. But I'd like to know that you'd like to see them too. So make sure you comment if you would like to see some more of these types of videos. She's going for a swim in the middle of the night. She's swimming laps in her really, really small pond. <laughs> on this buzz <laughs> okay make sure you let me know what you think make sure you subscribe check out some of our videos and i'll see you again with a new one very soon